Baptist and Pastor Steve. Welcome to our service today. We're so glad you guys are here. Today's sermon is called Coming Out of the Pit. Have you ever been in a pit of despair? Have you ever been in that place in your life when, man, everything's wrecking, nothing's good, and it just seems that you can't get over it no matter what happens. It seems it gets worse and worse and worse, and you're so full of despair, you don't know what to do. It seems like you're trying to get out of that pit, but you can't get out of it. That's a terrible place to be in. Or maybe you're in that valley of discouragement. Maybe it seems like all your life it's been a failure. It seems like no matter what you try to accomplish, you can't get it done. Maybe it seems that everything in life is wrecked for you. I've got news for you. God loves you and He wants to pull you out of that pit of despair. He wants to reach His hand down to where you're at in that valley of discouragement and lift you up and put you up on the mountaintop if we would only learn to trust Him. If we would only lean His way, go His way, everything would be okay. One time there was this family and they had a little canary and it was the happiest little old bird you ever saw in your life. From the moment the sun come up to the sun went down, that little old canary just sat there and sung and sung some of the most beautiful little old bird songs you'd ever heard in your life. He was so full of happiness. Everything was good in his life. Well, one day the mom of the house decided she's going to take a shortcut. She's going to clean that bird cage with little Tweety in there with a vacuum cleaner. So she gets that vacuum cleaner out and hooks it up and she's vacuuming around. Little Tweety gets up on his perch because he don't like that vacuum cleaner. And all of a sudden the phone rings. And the mom of the house runs to answer the phone. When it does, that vacuum cleaner flips up and little Tweety is sucked down into that vacuum cleaner. Well, the mom hears it. She comes running as hard as she can. She jerks that vacuum cleaner out. Gets poor little old Tweety. Yeah, poor little old Tweety by a miracle has survived, but he's in shock. So she picks little Tweety up and gets all that dust off of him, dusts his little eyes out, cleans his little mouth out, puts him back in the perch, and little Tweety just sits there. Little Tweety has lost his song. The next morning, the family gets up expecting little Tweety to sing again, but little Tweety has lost his song. Little Tweety's just sitting on the perch staring. Sometimes in life we go through situations like that. It's like the devil reaches down and, and sucks you up in his vacuum cleaner. And man, it seems that you lose your song, you lose your hope, and you're so discouraged you don't know what to do. It seems like, man, nothing is going to ever work. I can tell you for a fact, I have been down in that devil's vacuum. I have faced discouragement. I have faced despair. And sometimes it seems that it's not going to get any better no matter what you do, no matter what you try to do. But I got news for you. The devil may have sucked you down in that vacuum cleaner, but the Lord will bring you out. The Lord is greater than the devil. The devil keeps standing against God. We need to learn to lean and trust on God in our discouragement and in our despair. And when we come out of that pit, we need to get the dust out of our eyes. Shake it off. Get it out of your mouth. Raise your voice and start singing praises to God and watch everything turn around. Watch everything be good in your life if you could only learn to trust Him. Let's go to the Word of God. This is from Psalms 40, verses 2 through 3. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and He set my feet up on a rock and established my goings. And He had put a song in my mouth, even praises unto our God, Many shall see it in fear and trust in the Lord. Are you singing today? Are you singing in your adversity? Are you singing in your trouble? Are you praising God through this storm you're in? That's the only way we can survive. Praise Him. Lift Him up and watch Him move in your life. 
God is wonderful that way. We can't allow ourselves to be discouraged. That little bird lost its song. That little bird just sat there on the perch and stared. And sometimes in life it seems like, oh, I'm so down, I can't even smile. I'm so down, I can't look up. I'm so down, I can't call. But if you remember to call on God, everything will be all right. We can come out of that pit. We can come out of that valley of despair because God is greater than the devil. We need to learn to trust Him. We need to learn to not lean to our own understanding of the situation, but trust Him. You're in that valley for a reason. You're in that pit for a reason. But if you had only learned to trust God, He is faithful to bring you out and set you on that high mountain. I thank God for that. Now Jeremiah, a prophet in the Old Testament, was preaching the Word of God. He was warning the people that the enemy was going to come and he was going to defeat the nation of Israel. Well, the people, the prophets, all the priests, and the king didn't want to hear that. They considered Jeremiah a false prophet. So they took him and threw him in the pit. And believe you me, it was a miry pit. It was full of clay. It was wet and nasty in the bottom. And every day they throw him a little crumb of bread and a little bit of water down in there. And he lived in them conditions. He was in a terrible pit of despair. But he held on to the promises of God. He did not let go. And when that enemy came and conquered the city, they brought Jeremiah out of the pit and set him free. See, if you learn to trust God, even your enemies will help you. We must learn to trust God. And He will bring us out of whatever pit we're in, whatever valley we're in. And I've noticed in my life, sometimes you can have a great victory. You can really have a great accomplishment in your life and everything's good. And then all of a sudden the devil comes and knocks your legs out from under you and you're down in a pit of despair again. You're in that valley of discouragement. That happened to Elijah. On Mount Carmel, he had a great victory. He prayed unto God. God answered by fire. He destroyed the prophets of Baal. Everything looked good. Revival was coming to the city of Samaria. But he listened to the voice of the devil when he listened to Jezebel and said, you'll be dead before the morning. And he gathered up his things and he ran out of the town discouraged. Lord, I'm the only one that serves you. Lord, I'm the only one that lives for you. But the Lord spoke to him. Gird yourself up. I've got thousands that have not bowed their knee. Seven thousand that have not bowed their knee to Baal. Seven thousand that have not turned their back on me. Don't be in that pit. Don't get there. Now, David, can you imagine the despair that David went through? He has killed the giant. Samuel has anointed him to be king of Israel. Saul's still the king. And Saul has purposed in his life to make David's life miserable. He's tried to kill him. He's chased him everywhere. And David has went into the land of the Philistines and pretended to be insane just to survive. You talk about being in the enemy camp, man. Now that's the pit of despair. That's, that is the valley of discouragement when you have to stay with your enemy. One day, David and his men were out raiding, and while they were raiding, an enemy party come by and attacked their camp, took all their children, all their possessions, their wives. David is in total despair. His men are ready to stone him. Everything's looking terrible for David. He don't know what he's going to do. But the Bible said that he stirred himself up. He began to sing praises unto God. And God gave him victory. They got all that they lost. All that the enemy had come and took. And in a few days, David was king of Israel. There's victory over there. There's victory over your despair. There's victory over your discouragement. But we must learn to hold on to God. Let's get back to Tweety a minute. Now poor little Tweety been 
sitting on his little perch, not saying a word for about a month. Then all of a sudden, there was a change in Tweety. He got one little chirp out. And the next minute, he got two chirps out. And then he got three and four and five, and he just burst into singing, and he sung all day long. There is victory out of your junk. If you can just trust God, you can get out of that pit of despair. You can get out of the valley of discouragement. So friends, if you're in a valley today, trust God. If you're in the pit of despair, trust God. Stir yourself up like David did. Open your mouth and begin to sing praises to God. God works when His people praise Him. If you would only trust Him. I'm going to close in prayer. Father, I ask you right now a special favor. Those that are walking through the valley of discouragement. Those that are feeling like they're in the very pit of despair. I ask you, Lord, to open their eyes and let them see your glory. Open their eyes, Lord, and, and let them just see your goodness. Open their ears, Lord, and let them hear your words. Let them open their mouth and sing praises to you, God, because we know you inhabit the praise of your people. And I ask you, God, to bless them and bring them out of that pit. Bring them out of that valley. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for being in our service today. God bless you this week.